Okay, Starbucks, how have you learned? Why would you call the cops on this guy? Um, I don't know if he's homeless or not, but he wanted some water and you wouldn't give it to him. This is the uh, Starbucks at Terminal 2, uh, at uh, Arrivals downstairs. The man wanted some water and they wouldn't give it to him. They'd rather call the cops on him. And I thought Starbucks, I thought you guys had new policies. Just get the man a glass of water, you know? It's not like uh, it's going to cost you anything, but uh, what, two cents for a cup? And the cops come. And what do they do? They give the guy a glass of water. It's over. So why don't you uh, call the cops? Because anything go wrong with that. The man that uh, was exercising his first amendment right to record the cops. Because that video will be in the description. But come on, Starbucks. You could you could handle it better than that. Uh, I, I don't think you guys have learned. But why call the cops on this guy? All he wanted was a glass of water. And you guys, you're a whole way of thinking, some of your employees, I'm not blaming the whole franchise, rather call the cops on this guy, and the cops come ready. They don't know what the situation is. And uh, the guy was uh, upset, he was thirsty, and uh, your solution is call the cops. That's ridiculous. Come on, Starbucks. That is, like, ridiculous. The cops go to Starbucks and go, hey, can we have a glass of water? They give it to the man, the man says, thank you, and leaves. Just give the guy a glass of water. Come on. That, I just thought that was, uh, I'm not blaming the whole franchise and some employees, but you really have to retrain your employees. Talk to you guys later.